Hello and welcome. This is Rick Baxter, Cost Control Software. In this video, I'm going to do a little um, discussion about the move operations. There's three different move operations within your uh, Planner One production scheduler. And I want to be sure you know the differences between these three different options right here. Move, Force Move, and Fixed Date. Sometimes it's not real clear as to what the difference is and how the software reacts, but I think I can explain it as we go through this in detail. Uh, the first one I'm going to explain is the basic move command. And you'll see there is a pop-up there and you should read the, the uh, little explanations but let me kind of just go through these uh, with you. First one is move. So I've got the move. You do have to activate it. So if you don't have that uh, clicked on you can't really do a drag and drop uh, of those of an operation. So you be sure that you have that toggled uh, to the on mode. Then once it is, if you're uh, wanting to do a move, so this is Machine Center 300, Work Center 320, the painting robot, and then I've got 330. Uh, also in the same work center, I am able to do a move from one machine to another machine. So it allows me to move it down to 330, no problem. Okay, here is uh, one thing you will notice if I try to move it to work center 400 and come down and drop it here, drag and drop there, then it's going to give me a little error message and says the resource drilling machine cannot perform the operation and it basically snaps back to where it was before. So if this is not an acceptable machine to move it on, because you do have alternative machine centers that you can uh, put a, a task or an, a, a router step on, this is step 30, then it uh, it's going to say, no, you can't move to that particular step. So that's the move. And there's one other move. That's, that's moving from uh, different machines within the same work center. That's allowable. What if we try to do a move on date and I move it forward, let's say, a day? Well, the software is going to go, wait a minute, can't do that either because I want to optimize my schedule. And so what it's tr always trying to do is make sure you're as efficient as possible. The predecessor step, step 20, which then goes to 30, uh, finishes uh, the morning of the 9th. So the, we can actually start on number 30 right away. So it's saying, why in the world would you uh, basically want to move this to some other time period? It's going to move it back uh, to the uh, finish start relationship between the 20 and 30. So that's a little bit on the move command. Now, the force move is totally different. The force move, and if you look at the tip, uh, the tool tip on this, it says it's a move and operation between unusable resources. So the force move, not not a not a drag within the dates, but the force move is to a different resource. So in this case, now let's take this same operation and let's say, okay, we are going to run this on Machine Center 410. I can drag it down and drop it there, and it's going to stick. It's going to say, okay, well, you said 410, and that is a force move, forcing it to a different machine, whereas the move doesn't allow you to do that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to position this back up here. So we're just going to move it back. And let's go um, back to, let's go to the fixed date next. Okay, now fixed date, this is kind of interesting as well. Fixed date is not a move to a different, not a forced move to a different resource. Fixed date is to move it to a fixed date. So instead of saying, okay, for this operation, starting here, I want to move it ahead two days. And it's a fixed date, so it puts a little indicator here, and it doesn't snap back. It basically, it's not the start to finish relationship. You've kind of overridden that and said, okay, I'm going to start. You can see this if I move forward just a little bit. It's starting on about the 11th, and then, um, then the next operation continues from there. Um, one other little point is you'll see the next operation, and quite frankly, if I move over 
to 40, it's, it's way over here. Here's Operation 40. It's starting on the, it looks like about the 24th. So there's quite a bit of a uh, time delay between these two. But now what happens if I move this operation? What if it's way delayed? And I really have to move it, in fact, far enough forward that I'm potentially at risk in delaying the following step. See, if I just move it forward a little bit, okay, let's say to the 14th, you know, no problem. I've adjusted it. Now we've got a bigger gap in here, but I'm moving this thing forward. Now, if I need to move it considerable, moving it there, I'm going to move it forward a little bit more one time to the, uh, what did I say, the 24th, 424. Okay, still not a problem with this one on the 24th, but if now I move this to the 25th and drop it here, now it's going to impact the one above and you'll see it's changed as well. So it automatically, that's the beauty of the forced, uh, of the fixed date move option, is that when you have put a fixed date on this and you do a manual drag and drop into a future time period, then the successor activity, which in this case is a finish to start relationship, and there's some advanced movies on other types of relationships, because you might want to have a start to start relationship like when this one starts the next one can also start so there's a different uh, linkage uh, tools that are available I'm not covering that in this particular video but do notice the thing that I, I wanted you to see here is that basically if this particular activity gets delayed then the successor activity also gets delayed and the entire ske schedule in fact if there's multiple activities so that if this operation step 40 uh, is delayed then a step 50 60 70 those could also would also of course be delayed as long as they're a you know a finish to start relationship which is pretty much the default uh, within the software, uh, but uh, you can actually uh, set these links to be uh, other relations. Okay, so I wanted you to understand the difference between the move, the force move, and the fixed date move. Uh, all very useful options for you, but they are slightly different, and uh, you do need to understand the difference between them. Thanks so much.